Thor's nipples are staring me dead in the eye every time I look at him. Alright, Thor Fayhammer. Our newest fusion, Thor, was added to the game recently and has a couple of quirks that you should know about. At the moment, his passive stacks with blessings and with masteries when he fights bosses. Blessings like Phantom Touch, I'm assuming something like Soul Reap, and then masteries like War Master and Giant Slayer. It is a bug, they're admitting it, and they're going to fix it. Then it also says his passive doesn't reset between enemy waves. It is not a bug, he's just that good. So, meaning every time he goes through, like if you're going to Dragon, his passive is going to still stack. Every time he waves, he wave clears one and wave clears two, leading up to the boss. I like how they put, he's just that good. So, with this specific thing right here, his passive stacking with blessings and masteries getting fixed, people are, well, at least this person, is saying Thor is already nerfed. Bootleg Draco Morph. Thor is already nerfed. And then he says War Master and Phantom Touch won't stack his passive anymore. GG about 25 to 30% of his damage. Now, I don't know if it's just me being an end gamer, but we don't use War Master or Giant Slayer. We use Helm Smasher. And the reason being is because War Master and Giant Slayer both have caps to how much damage, th th how much bonus damage can occur. But Helm Smasher doesn't. So most end gamers, we use Helm Smasher. So this wasn't going to be a problem to begin with. Phantom Touch is kind of just a small bonus, so I, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could argue like, oh, it's counting towards his passive, so there's more damage there. But I don't know, it's still not a big deal. I haven't seen any Thor videos, by the, by the way. I don't really watch other content creators. I am assuming, based on the thumbnails and the titles, that he's insane. Now, I'm going to read what some other people say. Oh, let me back up and show you guys what I mean, actually. Hold on, let me... Alright, so what do I mean by nukers? We don't put them in Giant Slayer or War Mastery. Uh, oh, I just remembered I have to get Masteries for Makage. That's a... Uh, forgot about that. Um, for an example, Tormin. A nuke Tormin. Helm Smasher. 50% chance of ignoring 25% of the target's defense. For skills that ignore defense, this is another 25% of ignore defense. Right? Rodos, same thing. Helm Smasher. Sun Wukong. Helm Smasher. Taurus, Helm Smasher. Rathalos, Helm Smasher. You, you see what I mean here? Candy, Helm Smasher. You guys get the point. Now, depending on if you're fighting a regular enemy or a boss, the damage you're going to do with something like War Master is going to be either 10% or 4% respectively. Giant Slayer, kind of the same thing, 7.5% or 3% of the target's max HP. So there is a cap. It's either 3% or 7.5%. Same thing with War Master. But Helm Smasher does not have a cap. So it could just keep soaring higher and higher into the millions. And that's why we prefer to use Helm Smasher. Um, let's see what people are saying. It was stated that it was a bug and not intended from the start. His passive doesn't do a ton of damage, so Helm Smasher is better anyway. Okay, so I didn't know that because I didn't watch any videos. Like I have this pulled up, but I haven't watched it. And the reason I have this pulled up is because I wanted to, um, one, show you that I commented on his video saying that I want ice cream and someone told me no I don't get ice cream I just get a burrito and I wanted to also look at other people's comments we see modern thinker here he's in a lot of uh, content creators uh, videos I see him comment on my videos quite often as well I've also seen him on reddit bug fixes are not nerfs I wish Polarium would take this stance with the Trunda busted mallet I don't have Trunda can you enlighten me on how she's bugged I've heard she's the best damage dealer but haven't gone too deeply to find out why double dipping on multipliers otherwise she'd be hot garbage her a2 is supposed to do 60 percent of the damage as an aoe to the rest of the champions but in the right conditions it does more like six thousand percent of the damage which is true i am a trunda abuser myself my understanding is that it takes 60 percent that has already been multiplied or impacted by attack crit damage and ignore defense decapitated head bonus uh, decreased defense, weakened hex, etc. And it runs through all of those multipliers a second time. But I'm sure it's much more complicated than that. But this is what happens when you hit a Hydra head, and it does look like 2 million damage. So logically, the extra hits should do 1.2 million damage to the rest of the heads, but instead it does like 12, 20 million. I've seen upwards of 20 million on my account. Multiple CCs have said they were specifically told before he was available on the test servers that Mastery's blessings would not stack with his passive, and they were surprised when it did. This was a bug. This is true. We were told this. We were told that War Master and Phantom Touch would not 
and I think I even brought it up in a video, that these would not um, affect his stack with his passive. From what I saw, Helm Smasher did better damage-wise, so it doesn't matter for Hydra. If you want to use him there, then you don't have to worry. Like, who gives a shit about War Master and Phantom Touch? Nukers use Helm Smasher and Crushing Rend anyway. This is true, especially if you have a 5 or 6 star PvP, PvE, uh, Crushing Rend is the way to go. So they're kind of, I guess, dogging on this dude. But let's see what people are saying here, uh, other than Mr. Burrito here who wants ice cream. The killer is the Dungeon Divers, and that's not relevant. Very good to know that the A2 is coded as a single target. Yeah, I think this was kind of already known, right? That this was coded as a single hits on all enemies. Um, well, I guess this was this part was confusing because I talked about this a few times in multiple videos where the wording is kind of weird, but I did verify it and I showed you guys, but obviously not everybody watches me. After hitting the first enemy, he's going to hit every other enemy in a random order, kind of like how Mashaled works, where he hits one enemy and anybody who's got a leech, he hits them next. It doesn't count as an AoE, it counts as single target, and this is to mitigate or work around anything that affects AoE. So like if you're going up against somebody like Duchess, who has a 15% damage mitigation or damage re reduction, same thing, against AoE moves, or the Hydra Heads who, or some of them who, who do that same thing, right? This is a way around it. Wouldn't be surprised if the next champion chase points will be doubled since the first one was only 1500. That's true, they could be, they could do that. I saw people saying that the champion chase was really easy, the first one, but we'll see how they continue this. Ymir's head on Thor's back. This is a good question here. Can you use Slayer gear on Thor? Uh, Slayer gear isn't probably going to work. I'm, I'm assuming, I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm assuming it's not going to work because it says here, fills this champion's turn meter by 5% per first hit on each enemy from AoE attacks. And because it's not coded as an AoE attack, it's not going to benefit him all that well. Uh, same thing for this move, for his 6 pieces and for 9 piece. So I don't think Slayer Gear would be the best on him because his A2 is not coded as AoE move. Pulled 2 seconds for the fusion, got Thor on the second one. I'll keep going for the fusion to get an extra copy. If two nuts are broken, imagine two Thors. That's good. Might be cool. Oh yeah, this is what I talked about. It might, wait, what did he say? He said it's not going to work. Yeah, okay, good. I don't see counterattack being useful for Thor's A1 in the turn meter reduction department like he mentioned. The champion that just hit him took their turn, meaning their turn meter is at zero. I know champions can go above 100% turn meter, but unless I'm mistaken, you can't reduce turn meters below 0%. Thor's nipples are staring me dead in the eye every time I look at him. And then just touching on Thor's nipple, I mean, uh, what do you call it? These champion chase tournament points yeah this is pretty low why do you guys think they put it so low but let's let's see what people are saying here i was kind of skimming through this but we'll, we'll see thor champion chase only 1550 points for fragments yes it's normally more quick get the fragments before they realize an intern at polarium's about to get fired half of what i thought great move from them honestly it's probably a mistake don't get used to it it's really low, nice surprise. Last two hybrid fusions, frags on champ chase were on 3k and 3.65k, but the difference is that this time champion chase is before summon rush, so you can't fuse the epics and get points for the champ chase. I talked about it in my last video, or the one before that. This is still a nice surprise, I was expecting around 2.250 points. You can only fuse one epic during this chase. It's probably lower because we can't fuse more than one epic. If it were this low, as the second summoning event, we would barely need shards to complete fusions. Sorry for the new question, but what do you mean we can't fuse more than one epic? That just means there aren't enough events within the time to complete to um, to get the fragments you need for Champ Chase to fuse them during Champ Chase and get points. It's 350 points because she's a void. Save the fusion for me. Is this normally this low? Normally double this. Makes me think we're being baited even more now. I'm still holding 50 frags for the summon rush. Polarium doesn't do mistakes. I would argue that they do a lot of mistakes uh, but never has there been any tournaments that had a mistake everything they do and upload is carefully planned i think this means people get excited and participate in the fusion and later on realize that everything else is way up and they don't want to back down anymore so they spend to go for it putting the barrier to entry all the way down getting people in and then people are invested Called that that sunk cost fallacy, right? Modern Thinker again, seeing you again. I actually completed it only after about four sacreds. Got two legendaries, though one was Pixneal. So, what do you mean one was Pixneal? Dude, Pixneal is absolutely fucking silly in a nuke set. Thor's nipples are staring me dead in the eye every time I look at him. <laughs>